The first thing I uh, notice when I look through here is that item zero is always the title. This is very common. If you have a, a well-organized data set, the first column will be a um, will be a title. So if I bring this into split list, and I'm going to pop off that, oops, that very first item. You'll see there we go. I have all of the uh, the titles. So I'm going to simplify this to keep the branch structure simple, and I'm going to record this as titles. So here I am building what I, what I like to call the lattice. I'm trying to collect all my major variables so that it's nice and well organized. Okay, so I have my titles. Now here I have the actual values. So what I want to do now is to pull out each particular um, branch that I want. So to do that, I'm going to use the tree branch component and it asks for a path. So I'll use a construct path and let's add a value. So if I want the cost low value, which I know is here in branch two, let's create a two. Now notice it gives an error. Well, that's because this path I'm creating is, is actually uh, literally path two, but I have path two zero coming in. So I'm gonna simplify this and now it works. And we'll see here that I have the low cost values. And let's go ahead and create a container called cost low. All right. Now let's do the same thing for the um, on path three would be cost high. And path one, I might question like, wait a sec, what are those? Um, I forgot what my columns were. Well, that's why we have the titles split out. Okay, material type is going to be path one and we're not going to use the units, so we'll just leave it as this. And let's make sure this is called material. So you can see because our data was um, nice and, and tidy, this was quite easy. I was able to just reuse a lot of this code in order to isolate out the exact values that I wanted. And now I know that if I were to, for example, do um, list item, if I want a particular cost, I know that I could use the exact same index on both of these, and the values I get are going to be uh, are going to correspond because it's organized, right? Um, item item zero here relates to row zero, and that's going to um, also have the same values. So it's all organized by row. It's very easy to isolate and select. So what I want to do is I don't actually want the cost low and cost high. I want to get the average cost for each material type in order to then um, use that as a single value to predict my cost. So how do I connect um, these two things together in order to get the average cost? Well, average is our hint. But if I were to simply plug these values together, one, it freaks out because it says can't cast system dot double. This is very important here because it looks like a number, but really this is a text object. Very often when you import information from Excel, it assumes it's a text. So as I import this data, I want to cast the variable as the, um, the value that it should be. And all I'd have to do here is just create a number component. And now you see that it works. So as part of the data importing process, very often you might need to cast your, your data into the appropriate data type. All right, so my average is working, but notice that I'm getting two values. I expected three. Well, um, thinking back to our discussion of data trees before, the average component is a many to one, which means if I were to look at what's coming in here, if I were to plug in both these values, it's going to operate on the first branch first and then move to the second branch, which means it's taking the average of these three numbers. What I want is the average of item zero to item zero, and then the average of item one and item one. So I want this almost uh, a flipped order. Now flip is the, is the trick here. So if I were to merge these together so that now I can, I can see them, uh, I could use a flip matrix component, which will change it from what we just saw. It just flips the, uh, 
be indexed with the branch. And now this could be plugged into the average and it's going to give me the three values and you can see that that is averaging that. So this is a very very useful component however please be cautious when using this. The flip matrix only works on um, arrays that have one branch and an index. If I were to say not simplify this, of course this is probably all going to break, um, if I had more if I had more branches it's not going to be able to operate. So uh, just be cautious this is a less robust component and in, in fact we don't need to use this. There's also a, a better way of doing this that can avoid this component that might break on you and would then be able to work for any data tree structure that comes in. And the way we're going to do this, so I want to have um, item 0 and item 0 combined together. Well, if I graphed these input components here, um, what I want to do is to connect um, this one with this one. Now, I would expect these two to merge together. So if I look here, uh, if I were to uh, graph that value, I would have uh, what I would expect path 0. But because this is path 2, because I imported from Excel, and this one is path 3, those branches aren't merging together because it's reading it as a completely separate um, item. So if I go back here to this number command, and if I flatten this, notice that it goes from path 2 to path 0. I'm now eliminating the path information. And I want to do this because I don't actually care about that path anymore. And I actually want to start combining things together. So if I flatten both of these, now when they come in and I graphed, you'll see that they're combining well. And if I click simplify, you'll see I've just done the exact same thing I was doing with that flip matrix, but in this format, it doesn't matter what path it's going to come in as. I could have it be the uh, a five level branch and it wouldn't uh, care. So this is a better way of combining those than using the flip matrix. And now I can plug that into the average cost. And you'll see that we have a nice average value for each one um, organized in, a, in the same branch structure. Now because all of these um, outputs that I have, I'm using them as one uh, list. And actually, I'm going to also flatten this just because, again, I'm, I want to get rid of that branch information. So I'm organizing these in lists. So I'm going to do the same thing under the average here. I'm going to um, flatten this down so that all my values are um, in the same structure. And I'm going to create something here called average cost. Wonderful. So we have now successfully brought in our data from Excel, organized it, and actually created a new value from those values. Uh, so now for all these three materials, I have three costs.